Wow, what last nice performance of the Republicans. Now, I got to say, personally, I've listened to them. I'm hearing people saying this one done well and that one done well. I think they all ha um, they all stood up pretty good. But I have to say, wow. I will stick with, I like, um, still I'm staying with Ted Cruz and Carson. I think them two stood up the 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 most and I liked um Huckabee sounded okay um is the oh I can't remember his name the other young man besides Walker the other young man um and I like where Walker stood about abortion and a lot of people today I don't care abortion there, there is no such thing as saving a woman's life in this day and age. It will, doctors can save a woman's life without killing the baby. And the things that they're coming off with today, um, except, you know, women's, women's rights, women's, no. What about the baby's rights? And uh, I am, I vote, my vote will be for those who stand against abortion. I am an independent. Um, I think the debate was great. All oh, something really funny happened last night. I mean, Hulk gave a pow, a pow, 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 pow. <laughs> he leaned forward, and he, when um, Christy and um, uh, Ron Paul came on, and he leaned forward. He was on Pat's lap, and he leaned forward, and he got very... Mm. And when he leaned forward, it was so funny. You would have laughed if you would. I didn't get it on film, but he growled at them with the deepest growl when them two came on. Not anybody else, just them two. <laughs> he growled at them. I thought that was kind of really funny. But people, vote the Bible. Get out there and vote. Um, this is important. Um, we got to stand up Americans and um, yesterday the Lord when I was walking towards my microwave you know how like the Lord will speak to you a true child of God knows what I'm talking about and he said we're going out the Christians are going out strong and I'm talking about when we leave this world we're not going out as wimps cowering in a corner we're going out standing strong in the Lord Jesus Christ. We're going out standing strong. We're not going out crying. Nope. We ain't crying. We ain't going out kissing up. We are going out strong in the Lord Jesus Christ. We are going out strong in Jesus. We're going to do his perfect will. And when we go, the world's going to wish we um, never, they're, they're going to be so glad when the body of Christ is lifted off this earth. The dead in Christ will rise first. We which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the air. Um, I am watching, you know, this morning, different, last night too, in the morning. Oh, everybody says, people said Trump didn't do no good. Yeah, he did on some things. Um, I'm hearing people say that, um, Carson's kind of wimpish. No, he's not. I think he's very strong. I trust the man. And, um, Ted Cruz. Um, I would like to see a ticket, Ted Cruz and Carson. Um, or the one young man. I cannot remember his name. I'm so sorry. I cannot remember his name. I remember his face, but I'm a face person. I'm not a, um, name person. Never was. And, uh, Christy, no, no, um, I was kind of shocked on, um, his name is John, he, he, the one in Ohio, he was very, um, how would you put, not out there really, you know, he, he, he really, um, was not out there. I was kind of like, um, surprised on that one. 
Um, he really didn't speak get to speak much, but how they get, you know, the main one was Donald Trump, and that's what people were looking for to see what Donald would fall on his face or stand up. Um, but as everything I have watched, Pat's for Trump. I am not. I am for Ted Cruz and Carson. Um, and the other one, Mauro, the cute little young man. Um, I liked him. Um, but the rest of them, you know, I would have liked to see in, and I think every one of them should have been on stage. All of them. The ones, Rick Perry, that young lady, and the rest of them should have been able to been able to be in the thing. I really do, because it's only fair. This is America. Who said that Joni 10 can... I, I don't understand that part. But people, we need to vote. You need to get out there. I'm an independent. Yes, and I will say, a Republican or a Democrat, if they don't stand up for life, and I mean really, in their voting, in their history of their voting, and that, I don't want nothing to do with them. I believe in life, your finances are in God's hands. That life we need to stand up for. And we need to do away with abortion and it should be against the law. You like it or not, you're murdering children. You like it or not. Like I said in my video the other day when I was 13 years old. And if I would have been pregnant after I was raped, I would have brought that baby into the world. My mother didn't. My mother was a godly woman, but that's when they come out and you know convince people that it was a blob of tissue. Look at that blob of tissue. They have to. Okay, come on, let's get to it. The blob of tissue. Come on, people. That is disgusting. I mean, that is disgusting. The blob of tissue. Give me a break. They know it's a human life. They know it. They don't care. They don't. They don't. But you know what so makes me so angry? Body of Christ. They, I've known in my heart that they wasn't just throwing that baby stuff away. You know, putting the baby, you know, and burying it. Um, they were doing something not right with, the, with their organs and different things. They have been selling their body parts, their livers, and that there. It's an abortion mill to get and sell parts of human beings that's what it is it's a destruction on children you like it or you don't like it it's a fact and it's a shame on you who stands up for abortion and women's rights they both have rights women have rights and, and babies have rights but god made it us women bring children into the world we have no right to destroy that life because we had sex outside of marriage or we can't figure out how we can afford that baby or we were raped or incest that child didn't do nothing to be conceived but that child has a right to live as you have a right to live and I have a right to live and a lot of people ain't gonna like what I, I'm saying hey I've been molested I have been raped and I'm telling you I'd still bring them children into the world if I had to conceive and, and, and I would not hate the child because I knew in my heart as a little girl that that child was an innocent human being and it had it was not the fault of that child. There's such thing as letting babies and letting people adopt or find someone you know locally that would love that child and give that child to them that don't have children and can have children. Stop murdering our babies. Stop murdering our babies. Yes, I am 100% for human life. Young, old, and then, hey, one time I was in the hospital. Sweet woman I was talking to, older woman. I don't know, she was in her 90s. And all of a sudden, her family came around the bed. They came real late. It was real late at night they came. And I thought that was really weird. And she was talkative, and she had no clue. She was surprised when they all came into the room. And they all came in, stood around, smiling. <laughs> and they walked out. The doctor walked in, gave her a shot. They walked out. They, and then, then they came back in, and they walked out, and she was dead. 
a woman didn't know what was coming her way. So no one has the right to take nobody out. And to do with ISIS and all that stuff, that is wrong. You have no right taking somebody else's existence from them. And saints, we have no right. We don't, no. Saints, we do not force people to come to Jesus. You have no right to pour, force your theology on somebody else. You tell someone of the gospel. You plant that seed and it's up to the Holy Spirit from there on to bring that person to them. They can never not say that they was not told that you, that Jesus Christ is real and that he is the son of God and he is their creator. I know I'm talking scattershot as I always do. I love your soul and Jesus loves you. Father God, I ask that this video does not turn to void. I ask you, Father God, to let them know that you are and that you love them and that you are the way, the truth, and the life and no man can come unto the Father except through you. And Jesus, you're the same yesterday and today and forever. And Jesus, you are so we can be. And I thank you, Jesus, for my salvation and my name's written down in Lamb's Book of Life. And I thank you, Jesus, for loving each and every one of us. I thank you, Lord Jesus. Holt says he thanks the Lord too. What are you looking at, Mama? He thanks the Lord too. He was he was giving his opinion last night. No. He gives his opinion last night. Didn't you, Holt? You gave your opinion. Jesus, huh? Yeah, you know who's good and not good. Yes, you do. So, people, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. I love your soul. Jesus loves you. He died, and he rose for you. And let's keep up the good work, and let's stand up for Jesus, and let us show the world that Jesus is so we can be and know that Thumbs up for Jesus. Thumbs up for Jesus. Thumbs up for Jesus. Thumbs up for what he says. Vote the Bible and get out there and vote, saints. Because no matter where, what walk of life we're from, where we're from, and how we're from, stand up in the name of Jesus. Stand up. Stand up. And yell out, Jesus is, so we can be. Sing a song unto the Lord. Jesus is our Savior. By the blood of Jesus, we are set free by his blood and his resurrection power. And bam to Satan. And knock Satan down in the name of Jesus. And stand up for the Lord Jesus Christ. Turn the light on, Jesus, of your word to the people. A light unto their path. And known that Jesus is and bam to Lucifer bam to Lucifer and always know thumbs up to Jesus thumbs up to Jesus Jesus loves you and I love you I know I'm being silly then but Jesus loves you and I love you and people get right before God seek Je seek Jesus face call upon him while you time don't be left behind and don't go through tribulation it's not worth it hell is not worth it and he loves you i love you shalom shalom maranatha is going to happen very soon go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature he says do not go into the world and learn of their ways he says go into the world and tell them of me jesus christ is the only begotten son of god he is the way and the truth and the life. No man could come unto the Father except through him and his resurrection power. I love you. Jesus loves you. Amen to the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Jesus, hey, watch Jimmy Swagger at SBN. You get on your computer, whatever. The man is preaching the truth. The man is preaching the true gospel. 